Hello and welcome to my second box of Nova TCG. Uh, this time with crossover. I don't know which set it is or which which number in the release is because it's pretty difficult to find uh, information about this TCG. And yeah, in my in my first box I pulled I think five SR cards and none of them were textured and I. <laughs> I'm a big fan of textured holographic cards. So after my my first unboxing, I asked Bob, one of my viewers who suggested this TCG to me, uh, if there are at all like textured cards. And he told me that there are UR rarity cards and he, or he, he pulled one of them. And uh, yeah, they are textured, but I have no idea how rare they are. But I would really like to pull one. So yeah, wish me luck. And yeah, the, the box art is very beautiful. I think this was like one of the main reasons why I choose this box with like the samurai traditional clothing. Very, very nice. And uh, yeah, in, in general, I think the the art is not my favorite. Like I have, I have bought five boxes in total. I think I have three more. And at this point, I don't plan to continue opening this TCG. But maybe this will change. But first I have to find my scissor. And of course I don't have it here. Man, always prepared, not. So yeah, maybe I, I can pull my first UR cards from this box. And maybe there are some some nice artworks with Egyptian uh, symbols or like, uh, yeah, Egyptian art style. This one, I don't know, this looks very weird. This, this artwork style, I don't like it at all. This looks nice. Like flowers and kimonos are always going nice together. And yeah, this is just, uh, oh, where's the rarity? Just a rare in foil, in this shatter foil effect, which I, I'm not a fan of. Doesn't matter in, in which TCG, but I just don't like it. And in this, there are some, I don't think it's visible on screen. There are some, oh, now you should see it. There are some lines, like very heavy breaking lines between the, the shatter foiling. And they are very, very visible. Like here's this line and then going through her face. So yeah, this looks like more of the lower quality foiling. Oh, this is cute. This is a little bit cute, even if it's like CGI again, but the flower and her, her hair like together, this looks nice. Yeah, uh, someone mentioned it in the in the comments. Uh, I think it was like the, the Dark Western, like under my first box that there are too many host bundles, like too many male characters. And yeah, I totally agree. There are, there are a lot of male characters in this TCG too too many but one is even too many but there are a lot and this is our first sr card not textured but the foiling is nicely done like you can see that there's some kind of spot foiling that the the roses and like these chains on her book they are highlighted in the foiling oh, that's cute she's like a demon library woman. That's cool. The first uh, first disappointment for me. Oh, that's oh, yeah, the, the flowers. Oh, that's cool. I like this. Uh, but yeah, the first disappointment would be if I pull a SR or <laughs> the worst would be a UR, a textured card and it's a man. I I don't know how I would deal with that. This would like really crush me. 
my my disappointment would be like very big. But yeah, the art style in general is like not the best or like not really resonating with me. The rendering of the the hair and too too soft. Sometimes it's missing like like uh, outlines of the of the details of the hair. And this is an SR, and it's a guy. Yeah, the first disappointment. I hope we we don't get more high hits. Male male high hits. What's wrong with him? He looks weird. Uh, where's my focus? And then we get like. Oh, just a rare but really like the the backgrounds with flowers or like traditional buildings or symbols from Japan. I like that. And this is more like a an art style I appreciate. This is very very different from the rest in the character design. This is super soft. Like not really when you compare these two art styles, they are very, very different. This is just not really my my type. Even this looks okay-ish, but I think the shading is also like not the best. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm lacking a little bit the the vocabulary to describe what my problem is with the art. <laughs> Probably like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's something with the shading too. Looks like not really professional to me, at least. Maybe it's just a matter of taste. Now we're getting some duplicates. Kitsune Fox Girl, that's cool. Oh, it's a UR. It's a textured card. Not my favorite art, to be honest. Like she's on a on a carousel. Is it an English word? Like on a riding horse. Actually, she looks like a like a puppet, like a doll, like a doll, not puppet. Yeah, not my, not my favorite art, but it's cool to to pull a texture, textured hit. The texturing is just in the background with some pattern effect, I would say. Oh, also the the spoon is textured. Yeah, but not not a fan of the the art style. It's too soft, too washed out, I would say. Yeah. I think washed out is but still it's a UR and I was I was really hoping for a UR so that's a plus. Oh maybe I have to do some some more research and try to find like a card gallery. So maybe for my my next three boxes I can find like some some overview of the set and can see if there's like a a nice hit I want to chase for. Okay, she looks like a like a demon waifu. I like this. There's a they have a name like the spider woman. I think they have a, a name in the Japanese mythology. I cannot remember it. I like that. Oh, that's a cool artwork too. Again, like a fox demon girl. There are some some eyes. Ah, that's cool. I like that. And another rare. I think there are some some gems in the in the sets, like some artworks that look very very nice. But compared with the ZX or V Cross, I don't like them so much, and I really really have to a little bit more 
intentional, I would say, what I want to do with my money and with what I buy. So, yeah, for now, I would say I, I don't continue to open uh, the Nova TCG. Another guy. Okay, again, very different art style. Not so good looking. And uh, the doll girl again this is the same. I think it's the same character. Yeah. Not really a fan. So if the hit ratio is like the same, we should get two more, two more big hits like SRs. Oh, another like half human, half demon. I th have we seen him before? I think I talked over it. Okay, another SR. Another demon maid girl, probably. With a weapon. Ah, yeah, not bad. But yeah, I think the UR is... Sometimes there is like a... An overview of the different rarities. I don't think there is one for this TCG. Uh, but yeah, I, probably the UR rarity is like the highest. Don't think there is like an SP. Yeah, and sometimes there are like gems, as I said. Like, this is something I really like. Not the foiling, but the, the artwork. That's nice. That's my taste. <laughs> Even again, there are like these very strong lines going through. Yeah, yet now you should see it when I tilt the card like this. The the silver line. Like quality wise, this is. I think this is like the worst I've seen from Japan. Usually the cards from Japan are the best, like. They are fantastic, a lot better than from from the US or from, I think, Belgium. In Europe, it's Belgium. I don't know if there are different manufacturers too, but oh, this is cool again. I, yeah, I don't think I can, I can afford it to continue with this TCG. Even there are like, and when I see cards like this, I'm again, uncertain. I'm like, oh, maybe if I can and get maybe one box from time to time and, I don't know, have to sell some feed picks online to get another box, it's worth it. But, yeah, there are some, some nice hits, some nice artworks. But mostly, like, the bulk is not so nice. But yeah, again, let me know in the comments what do you think about the the art or like the TCG in general. This gives me a little bit like Fate, uh, the, the anime Fate Grand Order or like Fate vibes. I don't know, blonde hair, a sword. Looks like John, John Dark or I think Saber. Saber was another character. Yeah, another guy, and oh, this is like an angel. For a second, I, I thought there is like some Egyptian symbols, but I don't think there are any. Like the eye of, of Horus or something. This would uh, would be a good reason to include the card in my Egyptian collection, but I don't think there was like any any artwork. Oh, that's that's another nice nice hit. Oh, and yeah, another rare. Now, this looks like a a bad bad girl version of Alice in Wonderland a little bit. Maybe it's like the the playing cards and the the clock like this really gives me some Alice in Wonderland vibes. And I like the, the hearts on the uh, booba. So last pack for this unboxing. 
And then I open, as always, one Force of Will pack to search for my Anubis Secret Rare. And just another one. <laughs> it's, it's a big bird. So there's like a humanoid character, but there's a very big bird. Interesting artwork. But yeah. Thank you for watching. And yeah. I have three more boxes of form from different sets from Nova. So maybe I can still change my my opinion about it. And we end up with just an uncommon file. And uh, Moon Olymp Paradise in the moon Moonshine? Yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.